For nearly 40 years, the South Shore Convention and Visitors Authority has led Northwest Indiana's tourism industry through marketing and development, rebranding the region as a visitor destination. We partner with the SSCVA. One of the main reasons, uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is the great people that they have over there. They're terrific, dedicated people to the cause and that services Northwest Indiana and the people who travel through Northwest Indiana and make stops here quite a lot. The income generated from tourism allows reinvestment into our cities and parks, increasing economic impact, creating employment and enhancing communities' quality of life. We've used tourism as a, basically our, our big box, right? It's uh, using our sports fields to draw people to not only for Crown Point but the region in general. The disposable income that comes from the tourism side uh, puts less burden on our stakeholders who live here and have businesses here. One of the things that we did when we opened our businesses, we wanted to immerse ourselves in the business community and not just be a business that did business in the community, but we wanted to become a part of that community and the SSCVA has been a great resource for us to do that. The designation of the Indiana Dunes as a national park, the development of new attractions and the region's unique festivals and events draw in millions of visitors spending tourism dollars. Tourism brings in a lot of revenue for our hotels, uh, multiple night stays on weekends, which is what we need mostly from CVA. And then hopefully they'll come back for personal reasons over and over again to the region, even if it is to visit Chicagoland area. The Mascot Hall of Fame opened in Whiting in 2018 and we brought the Mascot Hall of Fame here to help promote tourism in Whiting for 12 months out of the year. Whiting is such a great place. Got stuff going on all summer. Got Lake Michigan, the Low Zone, baseball, all the shops on 119th Street, places to eat. And the Mascot Hall of Fame is a great complement to all those other activities. The South Shore CVA is the liaison between visitors and all of our local treasures. Through our membership program with businesses throughout Northwest Indiana, the South Shore CVA is a trusted resource and marketing partner helping to amplify their messages. I decided our restaurants should partner with the South Shore CVA after attending their partner summit in December and hearing about all of the benefits that they offer their partners and I was impressed by not only the quality of benefits but also the quantity and it seemed like a complete no-brainer for us to partner with them. Our website is the region's number one source for visitor information. Through the site, integrated marketing initiatives and expansive social media presence, we help increase visitation, revenue, and hotel occupancy. We have over 56,000 people in our database right now, and we've shipped to 42 different states, including Alaska and Hawaii, many times. And the only way that's possible is by people traveling, coming through the South Shore. They might not be searching specifically for, for breweries in Northwest Indiana. If they do that, Byway Brewing is going to come up. But if they're unaware of breweries or not searching for that and they just go to search for resources on what to do, where to go, where to eat, where to sleep in Northwest Indiana, the SSCVA is gonna come up. And when it does, all those people that are looking for hotel rooms or places to eat, they're going to be made aware of Byway Brewing and the services and products that we have to offer. The South Shore CVA has the ability to track multiple data points like spending and GPS location to better understand visitor habits. With this information, we can tailor our marketing efforts and direct customers to our partners. The best programs that we have is a way to market our region. All of the hotels, all of the restaurants, the casinos, the Indiana Dunes, just everything in the region gets marketed on a different level than just the brand levels that we are able to do. We can see how long visitors are staying in the region, which can help us create itineraries for various trip lengths. We look at where people are coming from to tailor our marketing efforts to specific areas. We can then monitor our advertising and continuously adapt the messaging. We can view the visitors' top points of interest, including downtowns, attractions, beaches, events, and sporting facilities. We can even focus on specific dates to see how our sporting events impact our region. Sports is one of the fastest growing sectors in tourism. Sports in general has really opened up the opportunity for us to have a place for our kids to play Monday through Thursday, converted to a tourism application Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, helps support our local commerce, uh, brings in additional tax revenue. And when you start to be able to be more diverse in your dollars, 
you're able to invest in other things that are important in your community. The South Shore is a premier destination for youth, amateur, and collegiate sporting events. The South Shore CVA has helped us make connections with several tournament directors. In doing so, we've made connections with over 400 teams that they've helped us bring into the Sportsplex. In 2022, the South Shore will host more than 70 events, bringing 50,000 participants and their families, generating more than 20,000 room nights. Yeah, the local businesses are really a real pleasure to work with. They've really come to the table in, in providing discounts and specials for our participants. Uh, so when they're not playing volleyball, they have lots of entertainment options um, for the rest of the weekend. And being close to the Dunes National Park is also fantastic for people to go and, and check that out as well. The South Shore CBA couldn't accomplish what we do without our hospitality partners, community leaders, stakeholders, and visitors. We look forward to continuing to work with all of you to further establish Northwest Indiana as an enjoyable visitor destination. We're excited to see what the next 40 years will bring.